Welcome back to the Sunday Footy Show. You know, one of the great things about the 30th anniversary year of this show is that we've been revisiting some of the greats of the game via Louis Handball. Yep. And we've been mixing up the legends uh, with the current day stars and the stars of tomorrow. And today we have two absolute legends joining us. Well, I'm very excited because I was a massive Carlton supporter. I had both these guys on my wall when I was younger. <laughs> Jimmy Buckley and also David Reese jones Welcome to the Sunday Footy Show. Yeah, great to be here. I'll tell you what, you'd rather them on your wall than your front doorstep. <laughs> 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 We're talking about weight wise or what? <laughs> no, We're not with our elbows. <laughs> no, no, that's right. Hey, um, uh, of course, this is old homework for you in a way because uh, you were yeah. part of one of the original panels. Yeah, yeah, so I was on the show for, uh, yeah, quite a while. And, uh, <laughs> actually, had you moving well there, Bruce? Yeah. I actually had my own segment at one stage called The Blokes of Whacked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought for... I was going to get a three year contract. He <laughs> <laughs> rubber... does that in a different way, though. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, could have run for 10 years. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, jeez. The, hey, the things we do, eh? Hey? <laughs> how, how did they ever convince I've never seen that. <laughs> See, Kane, this is the sort of stuff you should be bringing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What more do you want? Uh, hey, now, Reese, uh, you said about the blokes you've whacked. You did uh, get into it a fair bit. Uh, how do you feel about that now? Do you, often do you feel like, geez, I'm a Norm Smith medalist and I'm a premiership player? But often I'm glad I'm a Norm Smith medalist. Back to you, yeah. <laughs> I was only reported 25 times. 25 <laughs> times. Well, and they all deserved it. Here we go. <laughs> who, who was your biggest rival? Oh, this this, this game was brutal, yeah, oh, that, that was, Battle of Britain. Um, was yeah, that the... Got a bit out London. of control, that one. That's yeah. the Battle of Britain, yeah. 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 Mm. What about your biggest rival back in the day, Reese? Who would you set yourself for, anyone in particular? No, I would have liked to have got Diesel, but I yeah. uh, never really got the opportunity. But, um, yeah, no, 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 I never went out looking for it, but it found me. You, you gave it, and you, you certainly copped it a few times too, didn't you, David? You, I mean, twice you had broken <laughs> jaws coming out of uh, moments. Diesel Williams got you, Dennis Banks got yeah. you. No, Banksy, I, I woke up in the room, so it wasn't too bad. And it's funny, at the tribunal, he had seven stitches and I didn't have a bruise, so um, <laughs> they quizzed me for longer than they quizzed him. Yeah. Now, of course, uh, for any kids who are about to head out and play footy today, um, no. don't worry about any of that <laughs> stuff we no, just no. showed you then. Hey, no. You won the Premiership and the Norm Smith medal. I believe when you played on Dermot Brereton, centre-half back, that was the first time you'd ever played centre-half back that day. Yeah, yeah, so, um, yeah, Wolsey made the call and uh, decided it'd be a good move. John Doritich normally played on, on Dermy, but... Uh, yeah, it worked. Hey, Jimmy, I want to look at some of your highlights. Uh, Three-time Premiership player, Jimmy Buckley, 79, 81 and 82. Uh, was there one in particular, Jim, as you take a look at some of Jimmy's highlights? No, oh, look at that. Is there one grand final that stands out more special to you than the other? Uh, probably the uh, the first one, you know, yeah, the, yeah. the one against Collingwood and uh, the pain Jesus put us through in pre-season. Yeah. <laughs> and then... And to get it uh, to get there and win by you know short margin was probably you know but they're all good but there's no doubt about that as you well know they're, they're fantastic but uh, yeah the first one sticks out. Carlton supporters take us through that because the lid's off, Jimmy. Now it's off. Yeah, look, uh, so everyone's been hesitating to say that the lid's off and that. But look, I went. We were actually all we went on uh, Friday night and they were very very good. Their second quarter was equal to probably the football they've played in the last five or six years and. Uh, you know, they're gradually getting there. We can't say they're, they're there at the moment, but if they keep that standard up there and get Big Harry back and that, they're, they're a very, very um, dangerous force. What are you doing here on Ligon Street? Oh, probably uh, <laughs> collecting some money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jimmy, Carlton players back then were legend legendary on the field, so you had some of the greatest players of all time, but <laughs> even more, you were legendary off the field. And who was the best of them off the field? So when you went out and you partied, who was the best? Because I think you were right up there, but is there anyone that could get near you? Oh, Perivik, Perivik on uh, hours, he's a bit, duration, he was very good on that. Uh, he went for a couple of days. <laughs> but you, but, you, you drove poor old David Parkin mad, didn't you, you blokes? He's, uh, in, in retrospect, the games were getting longer, yes. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> his veins just started to pop out of his head, but uh, he, he enjoyed it, though. He's, he got us to two premierships, he was lucky, you know. He had, he had the team underneath him, and uh, he brought the next level of, of uh, coaching to up. Uh, but it was a bit of an eye-opener, wasn't it, when Paco first arrived there? Because he's come from Hawthorne and suddenly he's been thrust into this... Well, let's just say there was a drinking culture there and a bit of larrikinism, and often he'd drive home past a pub and see all your cars out the front. Yeah, well, that was bonding. That was uh, <laughs> bonding. And we got Paco there one day. We uh, went to another pub and... We sort of found Parco out. He pulled up beside a pub. I don't know what he's doing out there, but he, he soon told us we didn't have to worry about what pubs we went to. <laughs> <laughs> I won't go any further on that one. Okay. <laughs> uh, anyway. And also, sorry, Reese, you, you run the past players now at Carlton, so yeah. it must be pretty exciting to see some success after such a long period. 
Yeah, it is. It's um, you know, it's been a it's what's like it been since '95. You know, and we got a generation of kids out there who barry for Carlton who haven't seen any success. So um, hopefully the uh, the number 17 is not too far away. Yeah. All right, now, Rhys, uh, of course, we're here today not just for the handball, but also to spread the message of a very worthwhile cause and one that is quite literally close to your heart. Yeah, that's it. Um, my son Cooper there on the screen there, he has Prader-Willi syndrome and um, very complex disorder which affects one in 15,000 um, births and uh, there's no rhyme or reason why it um, what happens. We've got the 15 for 15 challenge. Jimmy kicked it off. Uh, Tony Shaw's been on it. Uh, Bruce Dool, I got Bruce Dool to talk to. So. Yes. Um, that was amazing. And Matty Cruiser, another one who doesn't talk too much, yeah. uh, nicknamed Humphrey. But uh, oh, another yeah, one. There's, there's Bruce. And um, yeah, it was great to get these ex champions on board to um, Making me go on. help us raise a you know a bit of awareness, but uh, and, and some funds for the um, organisation. And how do we donate? Well, look, you go to the Prada Willy um, Association of Victoria website. Uh, which is on the screen there, and um, or it, oh, look, I've got a public Facebook page which people can go onto and watch the uh, the short interviews and and the guys who are getting behind it, and um, yeah, so some stars from the past. It's great to be involved with. All right, and there it is there. So uh, it's the you can see it there. Give now.com.au forward slash and uh, on it goes. So um, terrific stuff there, and that's why we've got the badges on at the moment. I mean, it's not all about teal. No. It's a lot about orange too. Are you you on the uh, on the wagon these days, eh? Yes, I've um, had a break. Much of the, a um, lot of hotels um, <laughs> detriment. How long have you been off it? 15 months and going strong. Yeah. It's doing a great good. job. It's doing been a great good. job. Yeah. been good. Yeah. yeah, that's great. But I want to apologise to one of my old teammates. I told him he's going to do the, uh, the handball today and he's a gun at it. Wayne Harms, he's been sitting over here and having a packet of chips while he's having his <laughs> breakfast. Well, he'll be laughing because you never handballed in your oh, life. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, please get him on in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, all right, no worries at all. Well, we're going to take a break and when we come back, we're going to see whether in fact you can handball. <laughs> we know you can. But uh, that's all coming up on the Sunday Footy Show. Two Carlton legends, David Reese jones and Jimmy Buckley. They're facing off right after this. <laughs> Yeah, we're on, we're on. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling about Lou. <laughs> well, the reason you're telling me about Lou, and well, what did he do? He used to give you the beer on the slice? Beer, no, beer he used to give me all the trophies at the night games and that because he used to come around the brewery and pick up all the beer. All right, <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> so that's two lawsuits now we've got out of the sequence. One from Parco, but Lou unfortunately can't sue. But he can still tell a good gag. Can too. Albeit digging into the vault. So uh, here he is, the great man Lou Richards with his joke for today. Why do Catholics have bigger balls than Protestants? Oh, uh, uh, why, Lou? Because they sell more tickets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when we say an oldie but a goodie, uh, definitely an oldie that one. Yeah, but he was a terrific bloke, wasn't he? Dad? Sensational right. bloke, yep. Yeah, yeah. And you worked with him on that. Yeah, yeah, I did quite a few years on the Sunday footy show and, uh, yeah, great man. He, he actually coined the phrase white line fever about me, so... Um, oh. yeah, so <laughs> that's on the ball sort of there. Too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, so, five handballs from each hand. Yep. OK, you can start with whatever one you like. And, uh, move the target. Move 77. Go. 77 is going to be. Seven. Good start. Seven. Seven is 14. Good start. Four. Oh, oh. is 19. Seven, seven. is 26. Six. And seven is 33. All right, Jimmy, Jimmy. How, how are you feeling, Jim? Flat. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Yep. Oh, oh Zero. Yes. Seven. seven. <laughs> oh, oh, seven is 14. Geez. Really a magnificent recovery. Nineteen and seven is twenty-one. Good Beautiful. Recovery. Good recovery. What do you get, Rich? I think twenty-six. <laughs> yep. It's going to be good. The left hand. <laughs> oh. Oh. Five thirty-eight. What do you get? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Forty-three. Oh. Seven. Okay. Fifty. Two. Five is fifty-five. <laughs> And seven is 62. <laughs> okay, okay, hang on. Jimmy hold on. Left. Now, let's just set the scene here. What, what, what do we need? He needs a lot. Okay. <laughs> right. A miracle. <laughs> a miracle. <laughs> All right, good luck, Jim. Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 TJ. Hang on. 
Hey, Jimmy. Oh, I, mean, <laughs> I love this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, nice, Jimmy. Seven. 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 He's 33. Seven. Solid. Two. <laughs> He's 35. Oh. Seven. He's 42. Can you give that a finish for that team? Oh! <laughs> and one more. Last Tell one, Jimmy. Than TJ. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Bourne. 42. Still Should better than TJ, though. Uh, right. uh, one of the best kicks you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you hear when you kick 60 metres? Uh, uh, <laughs> Jimmy, I can only apologise if this segment's got you back on the grog again. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, is there anything you want to say to Diesel Williams, who might be watching? Diesel? Oh, look, he's, I want Greg, oh, Greg Williams and uh, Wayne Arms to play off in here. I'm going to be a great one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. all right, no worries. Well, uh, Jimmy, you're a good sport, mate, so great to see you and always good to have a chat. What do you, what do you kick, what do you handle when you kick 60 metres each foot? That's my league. Another victory. David. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, and of course, don't forget to donate uh, lots and often if you can for that uh, very worthwhile course. Great to see you, mate. All the very best. Jimmy, always good to good see on. you as well. Tony. All right, and that wraps it up for this edition of the Sunday Footy Show. Uh, do a little audition. Sign off. We'll be back oh. next week. <laughs> <laughs> the Sunday Footy Show. Right? May the sun shine on you today. Oh. <laughs>